Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm about to do a heater core replacement on a 2007 Volvo S60. It's a GLT. replacement core from Swedish car parts real good pricing and this is the one that's going to go in there it's got the metal crimps before you get started you, you want to cut the climate control on full heat it moves some arms out of the way from the heater core being extracted the thing you do is come under the car right in that hole there is your coolant drain I drain as much of the coolant out as I can is an Allen hole and maybe a 6 or 7 should also be a 13 millimeter. Your heater core hoses on this vehicle are very high. You may not even need to clamp those off. You will lose minimum coolant because that uh, is so high. I'm under the driver's side of the vehicle and remove this panel here that's already been removed on this vehicle. Next you want to remove this panel right here. You put your seat all the way back as far as you can. And you have a clip right there. You need to turn that with a coin. Remove that. Then you pull that back out. You slide it back. And then it comes out. You want to put a plastic bag down to catch any coolant that might drip off of those lines. You don't want to leak a bunch of coolant in your carpet. So let me position some trash, a trash bag here. All right. That's how I have the trash bag position tucked under there. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull those clips and move those two lines out of the way. Next, you remove those two clips. You pull them back and out. They will unlock your coolant lines. But you don't want those clips to disappear, so be careful. Use a screwdriver or some kind of hook tool to get them out. It was almost impossible getting that lower line out without pulling the core out a little bit so I put a socket in there to stop it from going back on me and I got both of the clips out now I'm going to disconnect those lines push them out of the way use a short screwdriver or something to get in there and pry this lower line loose first get it out of the way then pry the upper line loose and get it out of the way you only lose a little bit of coolant doing this Ooh, so see if I can move these aside get them moved out of the way of the core let me tell you how I did that before this heater core is going to come out you need to slide this brake switch out you push on the top side of it this tab squeeze that tab in work it down squeeze this other tab in and it comes out of that bracket Probably not going to get that core out with that in. It's totally in the way. Once you disconnect the brake light switch, go ahead and unplug it. If you don't unplug it, your brake lights will be on the entire time. Now, you bend this lower pipe a little bit. The inner pipe will move out of the way. And you work the core out of the car. Let me check something here. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching. I ended yesterday wrestling with this heater core. This heater core comes out and hits the steering column. I was trying to figure out if I needed to move the steering column or if I just needed to muscle the heater core out. Consensus say I need to just muscle it out since I removed the brake pedal switch. So that'll probably bend the old core coming out. May bend the new core going in a little, but they say you're better off doing that than trying to remove steering columns and things like that all right so here's the core about to clear the steering column but i did have to bend it down a little bit and do a little bit of damage to the back of the core there so 
it comes out then and that is the little bit of damage but it doesn't break the core open that's how you got to force the new one in All right, here's the core as you can see you have the two coolant lines running and you have the fins I damaged the fins down to the core tube but I didn't damage the tube core so it won't leak going back in same way all right now you can see how they have the insulation stuff wrapped around the core so wrap the new core like the old core was with the insulation material all right so I'm going back in I got all of the insulation stuff on there that I have I'm putting it in like that and then I'm gonna force it in past this steering column and like I said I'll probably press on these lower fins which should not be any kind of problem all right, I have the core pressed in now I'm gonna remove those old seals install the seals put those clips in and then put this screw in this spot right here the other side has a retaining pin when you put the retaining pins in make sure you put them in that they're all the way set in and you can see the prongs sticking out the other side now this lower one it had a problem coming out because it was in the way of this here so I'm actually stick it in this other direction I don't know why they didn't do that I marked the tag 2016 the clips are in and they're secure I'm going to fill the coolant system up, leak check it, and then I'm going to put these panels back on. Next, I'm going to clean this plug off. It's got some uh, residue uh, insulation tape on it. Then I'm going to plug it in, make sure it's adjusted right for the brake switch. When you plug it in and it's hanging, you want to come out make sure that the brake lights are on indicating that it is working now we're going to go and put it in position and make sure that the brake lights are off switch has two securing tabs one on the top and one on the bottom so go ahead and snap it back in and make sure your brake lights are out the switch only goes in one way it has this uh, alignment that aligns in that bracket right there so push it in there until it clicks in place and you should be good to go alright okay the brake lights are out so go ahead and do the leak check and secure the panels in place if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.